He's 0-1. He had a tough loss to a uh, real talented Dan Matala. Took some time off, finished up school, and now he's uh, he's back at it. Real good training camp for this fight. So uh, Ryan was a great, a really good amateur fighter. I used to uh, we used to do our strength and conditioning at the same gym. Um, so I used to see him working out. He's a real hard worker, very talented guy. Um, but he's fighting Matt Kareka from uh, Balance in the Northeast. Um, it's a great, great school, great jiu-jitsu, really tough guys. Uh, I know he's a super aggressive, so it's going to be exciting. Brian's a, a very close friend and training partner of uh, Ryan Kemmer, who we saw earlier tonight. Okay. So the two of them have trained extensively for this fight. Expect the Faro's uh, wrestling to be wrestling defense to be top notch training with Kemmer. And again, welcome him back. He's in a little bit of a hiatus, finishing up school, and I'm excited to see uh, Matt Kareka fight. I've heard lots of good things about him coming from a I'm great excited school. Excited to see uh, Ryan back after a year off. It's, uh, it's always interesting to see what's going to happen. If his head's still in it, or if uh, the time off hurt him. Sometimes after a loss, time, time off can be a good thing. Um, sometimes the right answer is to get right back in there. You never know. Kareka is cornered by Frank Ambrifi and Dominic Casenza, two back black belt training partners of mine. Very talented guys. I've never seen him fight before, but I'm excited to see it. I think he's making his pro debut. And Ryan Kavaro is 0-1. One of the things very noticeable in uh, Ryan Caparo's first pro fight uh, that he lost was the size difference. Felt like he was uh, he was very undersized in that fight. And looking at Matt, it looks like these two are going to match up a little bit better. And uh, following. He's another trainer at the UFC gym up in Springfield, Delaware County, so he's got a nice fan base here. I'm sure Matt Kar Karkarek is going to have the same thing. I hope I get out of the parking lot tonight with how many of these names I've butchered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're underway. Karika and Kafaro looking for a single right off the bat. I know Ryan's got a pretty good guillotine. He does. He absolutely uh, does. Karika looks very aggressive. Attacking from everywhere. Um, she worked to free his head. Get out of that guillotine. Yeah. I've been caught in that, and it, it is a very good one. He finished a lot of amateur fights with that, uh, that guillotine. Uh, 
Brian looks like he hurt something there on that kick. I don't know what it was. It looked like he grabbed for a groin shot, but. Guevara working the top, trying to take the back here. Rolls over in a half guard. Greco needs to work the sweep from here. You don't want Ryan on top of you. It's a good wrestler. He's got that crucifix position. Ooh, nice Ooh, elbow. Great elbow. Great right, right elbow. Right to the forehead. Ooh, another one. That can open you up pretty easy. Good punches, too. Good right hand by Kafaro, yep. I think his experience is showing here in the first round. He's not going to be able to take too many of those elbows. Another good punch from Kafaro lands. He's trying to take his back. Up against a cage. Good sprawl. Power lands on top of a scramble. Kareka is showing heart and hanging in there, still trying to fight. Um, he's getting dominated pretty good right now, but he uh, doesn't look any worse for the wear. No. Nice. Good shot. These, the shots don't seem to be hurting him, but they look very, pretty brutal. They do, they do. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, guys, that's right in front of us here. great to hear the fighters talk about the position they want to stay in and the referee uh, guide them through this year. Good sportsmanship again by both fighters. That's a tough thing to eat, a kick from the ground. Bounce right back. Ryan's landing a lot of shots from up here. He really is. His ground and pound looks very, very tight tonight. Two big elbows again. Greco needs to work some submissions. He's got a very loose guard. He doesn't have much control. Um, Ryan's got good submission defense. I'm really surprised one of those cuts or elbows hasn't opened him up yet. Know, clean, clean elbows. This kid's got a head like a rock. He's eating shots. That's a big ground and pound there from Gaffaro. But he's hanging in there. He's not. Yeah, this kid's a tough kid. Matt Car Carica. These shots, these shots would have knocked out most people by now. In this position, you want the person either far away from you or really close. You don't want to hang out in that middle range. Uh, but he doesn't seem to care very much. <laughs> Another elbow from Kafaro. Maybe he's hoping that Kafaro's going to punch himself out. Wow. That is a big elbow. Even Dan. Bergiotta's coming close, but. This but kid is incredibly tough. Okay, yeah. He is incredibly tough to take those elbows. See how he responds in the corner in between rounds. He's got a closed guard now. It's a better position to be in defensively. Um, but he needs to create a lot of separation to avoid those punches. Nice knee slice to get the half guard there. Kareka needs to work to stand. Yeah. He's not, he's not winning this jiu-jitsu fight here. Got a wall walk. Push off the fence, right? Get yeah. back to your feet. And... Something. Kafaro stepping to the mount. Nice. Yeah, this might be the beginning of the end here for Matt Kareka. Kafaro's raining down. Good recovery he smells back blood. to his guard. He's got to wrap him up. Big dance. Keeping a close eye here. He's got the leg. Searching for a toe this holder. Is, looks like a knee bar, but it's a tough position to commit to. He's got to last 10 more seconds, and he's out of this round, even though he took a beating. Wow, that was a big, big right hand to end the round there by Kafaro. Sounded like his head bounced off the floor.
see Big Dan there in between rounds telling Mac, telling him he's got a Carter record that he had to get off his knees by himself without the help of his corner. He's the best, in the, one of the best in the business. I don't want to offend Big John. I said Big John's better. Dan's fucked up a couple of my fights, so. <laughs> um, so I'll go with Big John, but he did a good job there. Uh, yeah, there's a slight cut on the bridge of the nose of uh, Kareka. He took a lot Kareka, of hard shots. Kareka just took a beating. Um, corner's got to keep an eye on him. Very confident right now. Yep. Kareka didn't show much other than being tough in that round. Yep. Look for more of the same to take him down and more of a beating. Kafara was smart. He would take him down. He's on wobbly legs. A little gun shot, too. Ooh. Landed a shot right there. Good single leg by Karika there, ducking the kick. He's got a takedown of his own. I got to keep him in the open here. He shouldn't let him get to the fence. Kafaro, very experienced, walking his way to the fence and using the fence to get back to his feet. Now, kafaro has got that front headlock position. Spinning to the back. He also good knee to the body there. Great knee to the body, yep. He's covering up here. Big Dan's taking another look. Karek is doing just enough to not get this fight stopped. That's for sure. Farrow going back to the elbows there. Could be dangerous. Going for a knee bar again. This Ooh. is a tough position to be in. Just ate two big shots there right He's in front of us. He's going to eat a lot of shots when you commit to a leg. It's a very dangerous thing to do, especially on the fence. You got to get it or let go. You can't You can't really fight for these things, and especially in this position. He's, he's oh, in or you're going to eat some leather. Right He's very exposed here. He's still fishing for that knee bar, and he's taking a lot of abuse. Big Dan's taking a close look. Correct is opened up now. Yeah, he's really he's opened up. a little bit. Boy, he is a tough kid taking this abuse. He's eating a lot of shots. Yeah. Big Dan jumps in and stops it. Correct took a lot of shots. He said he's fine. Uh, Kafaro got his first pro win, so great job. Yeah, Big Dan gave him a lot of chance. I think it was a great stoppage. I don't think he was getting out of that, and he took some big abuse. Tough kid, though. Very tough kid. I think, I think you saw the importance of getting a lot of amateur experience in that fight. Definitely. Kafaro is a very experienced amateur. Again, he's very happy with himself. He's letting everybody know how good he is at ground and pound on the outside. 